What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you my full wash day routine. My undercut is already detangled, so I'm going to show you all the steps that I go through to achieve those fire looking curls. Let's hop straight into this. First thing I do when I hop in the shower is I just wet my hair. Let the water do its thing. Let the hair just soak up all the moisture so it's soft, it's elastic, and it's resistant to breakage. After it's completely wet, I'm just going to section it off. I like to work in quarter sections, but I'm just going to keep half away for now because we don't have a bunch of elastics and we're trying to save money. All right, so we're just going to section it off into one half section and two quarter sections with the elastic bands. I'm just going to clip this one out of my face. Now we're going to start detangling. Make sure that you use a lot of rinse out conditioner and water whenever you start detangling. I like to disperse the product through my hair first with my hands and I like to use this technique called like the praying hands technique. Basically you just clap your hands together and then you just bring it down the hair shaft to spread out that product as evenly as possible. Then I like to go in with a finger separating technique. So basically I just go in with finger detangling but I'm not trying to comb through my hair. I'm just trying to separate the knots. After that, I'm going to go in with my wide tooth comb and we're going to start from the ends of the hair first and work your way up to the root. So you can see I'm detangling from the ends. Then I'm going to move my fingers up just a teeny bit, just a teeny bit, just to give me some more space. And I continue that motion all the way up the hair strand. So this is how my hair looks when it's completely detangled. Then we're gonna twist up the hair. I don't like to use two strand twists. I just twist the hair over itself and I'm gonna wrap it around my finger in the back. And just to make sure it stays detangled, I'm gonna go in with a hair clip to keep everything in place. This is how I save my progress as I go around my head. This is the front section now. You can see this is how my hair looks when it's completely detangled. Going through the same steps through each section. And afterwards, I'm just gonna rinse the product out. And now we're gonna go in with a shampoo. I like to do this after detangling my hair. I find it just makes it easier, but I'm gonna make sure to focus on my scalp when I'm shampooing my hair. Afterwards, I'm just gonna rinse that out. We're going section by section. Then we're gonna go in with our deep conditioner. So this is gonna put the moisture back into our hair. So I'm gonna twist up the section once again, work around my head. And after 20 minutes, we're gonna rinse out the deep conditioner and go in with our leave-in conditioner. Now this is basically where we're gonna start the styling process and where you could use the LCO method and whatnot. So after detangling my undercut, once again, I'm gonna go in with my styling product. I'm going with Camille Rose today and I'm just kind of raking it through my hair just to style the undercut so it doesn't turn into a giant poof. After finishing the undercut, we're gonna get started on the long hair. So I'm gonna take one of those back sections, separate it into two and pin the other half away and get started. We're gonna detangle once more, just to make sure there's no more knots. And we're gonna go in with that same styling product, smoothing it through our hair, separating the curls, just to make sure that they clump very well together and make sure that you're using a lot of water too. That's gonna make the curls stand out. I'm not gonna focus too much on the technique in this video because I do have another one going over my curly hair routine, but I'm basically gonna continue this throughout my entire head, working section by section, combing through, adding the product, raking my hands through my hair to get those curls to clump together until we're completely finished. So this is how the back section looks when everything is said and done, but we're not finished yet. With just a snap of our fingers, boom, the front section is now finished, but we are not done, okay? This is how the hair looks when it is wet, but the drying process is a whole other beast to tackle, right? So now we're gonna get started. You're gonna go in with our blow dryer. I like to keep it on medium heat and the high fan setting, or you can put it down to low heat, never go to high heat, and then just go around your head for the next 20 minutes, and this is how my hair looks when it is basically 80 to 90% dry. The curls are popping. I'm gonna brush the beard, shake the curls because we look good. And if you like this video, you're definitely gonna like this one. That's all for me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.